The point I'm getting to is that you pose here as the defenders of, of journalistic integrity, independence and impartiality in Pakistan, and yet to many in Pakistan, not least in the military, you are not seen as entirely independent, neutral and impartial because over the last couple of years you're basically seen to have been increasingly giving a platform to one particular political player, Nawaz Sharif, who has run into an awful lot of trouble because of allegations of corruption. I was speaking particularly about the fact that there was no leak from the Nawaz Sharif or his party. In fact, the news about which Dawn printed in the so-called Dawn leak saga about the conversation with respect to two meetings uh, was available at different points in Pakistan and internationally. In fact, that material was procured internationally. It's verification process. No, no I understand, but let's not get hung up on the technicalities of how mm -hmm. this all panned out. But, but the bottom line is this, and I come back to it. You, the self-proclaimed independent, impartial, neutral media group covering Pakistani politics, are now seen to be supportive and sympathetic of Nawaz Sharif, his daughter, who are now, it has to be said, convicted criminals. I think what is more important is that there is an element of orchestration in that. The, Where, where's your evidence? Who, who's orchestrating and where is your evidence for it? I think that if you go to the social media, if you look at the trolls on the social media, if you look at the attacks on Dawn, you might get some idea that there is a very large presence by the ISPR or the Inter-Services Public Relations on the social media. Pakistan intelligence. Absolutely. It's going after you because Not you... Not going after us so much as going after anybody that they feel stands in their way. I think it's important to say that although it's not a contest, we are hardly contenders for straight power. I think basically there's a civil military narrative which went wrong and Dawn was the messenger. And a large part of that is shooting the messenger. You see, you, you started this interview with the premise that Pakistan's democracy is facing threats and dangers. But you're, in a way, creating those threats and dangers because you're now telling me that the Pakistani intelligence services are meddling in politics to the extent that they want to, quote-unquote, decapitate one particular important political player. And one can only infer that they therefore have other politicians that they would like to see successful in the forthcoming election. Is that what you believe, that they have favoured candidates? Of course not Nawaz Sharif, who you say they want to decapitate, but others that they want to see in power? I think there's a preferred face of Pakistan they'd like to see. Who? Uh, the security forces and the establishment. No, no, uh, who, who do they favour, in your opinion? I think that at this point there appears to be an attempt to favour second level string leaders and a patch up coalition which would rule with direction from the deep state. Well, you're not using names, but I, I'm pretty sure that from what you're saying you mean Imran Khan and his PTI party. Well, there are times that Imran's index goes up uh, with the security state and at times other people in his party are named. In you every see, case... You're throwing out... I mean, you've just said something potentially explosive in Pakistani politics, that Imran's fortunes go up and down depending on the interventions of the deep state and the intelligence services. And that I mean, for many political where, parties. Where is your evidence? You know, you're a journalist. You know that you can't say these things without having absolutely irrefutable evidence. I think that evidence today in Pakistan must, to a certain extent, be looked at through inference, through the work of human rights organizations, through the works of political commentators. I'm not actually making a case against the state. I'm making a case for the state to conciliate itself with the media and try and keep the normal institutions of democracy going. 